Hello, my name is Christian. Welcome to the Agile Shop. In this video, we will show you how you can use Monday.com for your sprint retrospective. At the end of the video, we will show you an additional retrospective format and how you can access it for free as a template in Monday.com. Plus, you don't want to miss one of my personal Agile stories at the end of the video. Let's jump right in and don't forget to subscribe for more hands-on Agile videos. One of the most popular retrospective formats is the start-stop continue format. As you know, during the sprint retrospective meeting at the end of the sprint, the team reflects on what went well during the sprint and discusses improvements. During this discussion, the team captures items in this format and adds it to the board. They can click the new feedback button and add a new item. The entire team can vote on each item to decide the importance or priority. By voting, they can decide on which item to take action first. At the end of every sprint, the team comes back and refines this list and their action plan. To create this board, under the main table tab, you have to create a group for start, one for stop, and for continue. Then add the type of columns I have here by clicking the add column button. If you want more types of columns than the ones listed here, click more columns. For example, we can search for the vote column and you can add it by clicking add to board. Once you created all your columns, you will have to create a Kanban view as the one you saw earlier. You can do that by clicking the Add View button. To customize what you would like to see on the card, expand the Settings area. Feel free to check any columns you will like to see in your view. I prefer the Voting and Repeating column. Pretty easy, right? Now let's take a look at the additional retrospective board I mentioned in the beginning of this video and how you can get the free template in Monday.com. For this solution, your feedback gets captured per sprint in a group as you see here. The team inserts their feedback as items on this board and after a group discussion, the team picks an action from this list of statuses. You can modify this list and adjust it to your own preference. After the discussion, the team can vote on each item to decide the priority. Usually a team member will take the lead on driving each new improvement. You can capture the name of the person under the owner column. For future sprints, you can just create a new group. If the feedback repeats across the sprints, you can use the repeating column to identify which items are repeating. If you want to try out Monday.com and this retrospective template, use the link in this video to get your own free Monday.com account. Once you have an account, go under the board templates area and select the Scrum Team template. Now let's switch to my personal Agile story I mentioned in the beginning of the video. A while back, I was consulting as an Agile coach for a client in the automotive industry. Every time I attended the sprint retrospective session with the Scrum Team, there was a lot of enthusiasm to bring up improvements or challenges. The list never ended. When they finished the session, they had a long list to work on. I asked if they should trim the list and only keep a couple of items on the list. Their response was, that's how they always did it. I was tempted for a second to insist on my suggestion, but I didn't. Two weeks later, when they came back together for another sprint retrospective, none of the items from the prior retrospective were addressed. They realized they were not able to move the needle on any improvements because they were trying to solve too many things at the same time. Now that they came to the same conclusion on their own, they only committed to a couple improvements in the next sprint retrospective. This time, they were able to accomplish it within the next sprint. In conclusion, sometimes teams need to come to their own conclusion in order to commit towards something, even if that means small failures. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below if you want to hear more Agile stories in future videos.